What's up, everybody? This is John from Old Soggy Farm. No, sorry, Old Raining Farm. No, sorry, John from Old Redding Farm. And I am just so sick of this rain. It just will not stop. Ugh. And I mean, here's the thing. Like, overall, rain is fine. Rain is good. You know, April showers bring May flowers, May, May flowers and all that nonsense, but enough already <laughs> it's been literally every weekend in october and september it has rained at least one day and i mean besides the fact of how annoying it is that it's like rained all day every day not every day but like we have beautiful weather during the week you can see it's fall the trees are dropping their leaves a ton of leaves on the ground but we have lost out on so many shows over these last couple months. It's been terrible. So here I am in the rain, just walking around. I was just down at the, uh, the carving station down in the wood yard. And uh, we're going to go take a look at the alpacas and see how they do in the rain. Because contrary to a lot of what people think, uh, the alpacas do not go inside when it rains for the most part. They kind of just hang out. So right now they're over by the hay feeder. So we'll swing by. And it's also, like, it's a little sad because they look so droopy and wet. But their, their fiber is, quote, water resistant. So it doesn't retain a ton of moisture. So there's that, but before we do, we're gonna swing by the Peacock House because we have had a little bit of a problem in here. So as you can see, the peacocks hang out inside when this is going on. But so the problem that we've run into is our aviary netting is getting a little saggy due to all these leaves. Hello, peas. How you doing? Doing all right? And so they don't like coming outside in the rain. Look at that beautiful guy. You guys gonna lay some eggs? No? Just gonna be freeloaders forever? Okay, sounds good. And this is actually nice because usually they're very, very afraid of us. So nice that they're coming out. But anyway, so you can see the weight of all these leaves and I meant to blow these off before it got all wet, but I just ran out of time. Um, but so what I did do is, so I, I did a couple things. So I added these little wood pieces to hold our netting in place all around the edge and including on the roof there. I also, oh, just stepped in a big hole. Um, I also added, let's see if we can, uh, some wire supports to go across, I don't know why it's not, yeah, there we go. So I added some wire, because we had this string initially, but that wasn't doing a good enough job of holding it all up. So I added a bunch of wire going across, which is obviously much stronger, and it doesn't look great, but you know, it's doing a fine job. And so now I, I at least know that this isn't gonna come crashing down. I am confident that it's you know secure, even though there's a bunch of leaves on it. Sorry, it's raining peas. All right, so now we're over by the alpacas. Oh, looks like we got the water going and it's overflowing, but that's okay. I mean, so look, look at this sad little aspen right here, just soaking wet, but doing just fine. And all the girlies are now coming over here, but we're gonna go take a look in there and see how they're doing. Sophie, no, you want nothing to do with, well, look at that side eye. Look at that side eye. What a shady alpaca. All right, so you'll see, even though it's been raining, everybody looks pretty dry. I mean, you know, they're not crazy dry. What do you think, buddy? But I mean, so you'll see how their fiber, while it does mat up, 
Like it doesn't soak all the way through. So alpaca fiber is a really interesting fiber. So it's water resistant. It's definitely not waterproof. But so you can see it's sort of, it, it mats up a little bit on their back, but then it just sort of falls off. And so it never really soaks all the way through to get them really cold. And now if they really wanted to, you could see some of them are in the barn over there. But for the most part, they're all just out, kind of hanging out in the weather. And that's honestly what they do 99% of the time. And I mean, the great thing about alpaca fiber is that it's super warm, um, but it's also breathable. So like when you're wearing alpaca fiber, like so when we make our hats, like part of our sales pitch is, you know, unlike wool that can sometimes be a little bit stuffy, alpaca fiber really breathes. So you're gonna stay really nice and warm without being like overly hot and sweaty. And so like, you'll see them in the middle of winter, they'll have like six inches of snow on their back and they'll just be out here. And the reason the snow is there because their body heat never escapes to melt the snow. So like they just got a perfect little insulated fleece coat there. And uh, you see, I think that's Belinda there with some hay on her head. So you know, they're just kind of hanging out, doing their thing and um, enjoying the beautiful weather we're having. What do you think, ladies? You know, the other great thing about alpacas is that they always look like they're sick of you. Look at those faces. Megs, what's the problem? But anyway, I mean, like, what the hell am I supposed to do on a day like this? It's also cold. So yesterday, it got up to like 82 degrees and was perfectly sunny. And now I think it's like 60 and raining, obviously. So what the hell am I supposed to do? So I've been uh, chainsaw carving all morning. So I'm just coming back to uh, maybe hydrate and maybe grab some lunch. We'll have to see. Catherine's been uh, busy making hats all day. So her goal is 30 because we actually have three shows on Saturday, uh, November 4th. So it's coming right up. So we got to make sure we have enough hats for that. And, uh, you know, one of the other great things about rain is we get to leave some nice big ruts in the road. And Catherine hates those ruts. So it's one thing we got to fix. And now this, it's a mess over here because I got... I think in total four loads of logs and like, you know, something that 18 year old John never thought he'd be excited about. Look at this wood. Um, and the great thing about this is that it's all really nice and straight and there's not that many knots and it's also small so it can fit on my current sawmill, meaning that I can mill it this year because we're looking at making, you know, some chainsaw carved, uh, snowmen and the trees were a real popular thing last year so we want to make some more of those and it's been it'll be easy to cut some slabs and then use our laser engraver to engrave some stuff on there but anyway uh, it's cold but now let's uh go take a look at the chickens and see how they're doing well i can see from here it looks like we're having the same problem with uh, the leaves and our netting over here I mean, there's nobody's in there, so that's fine. But I mean, you can see up there, it is pretty leafy. Right, Emos? What do you think? They've been doing a lot of grunting and drumming. Hoping that uh, we have at least a boy and a girl and hopefully we get some eggs soon. That would be nice. But knowing our luck, probably not. So, I mean, you can even see down here, there's barely any chickens outside. Just because it's so wet and nasty. So, there's that. Oh, and you can see our boys. Just all hanging out in the hay feeder. How you guys doing? Alright, so, the other thing I've been wondering... I mean, this is a completely random thought, but all these leaves on the ground. So we have an open farm day a week from today. And so I want this to be nice and clean. 
And I'm thinking again, I can take my landscape rake and rake all of this and push it right into my big old compost pile, which I need to work on actually, because you can see how far out. There's some little piles here from uh, cleaning out chicken coops as well as some uh, alpaca manure. So I think the other thing, John's hair check looking good. Anyway, look at this pile. It's hard to see with all the leaves under it. And also, I'm sure you all are very happy to be looking at my giant pile of poop, right? Come on, you're a little bit excited, right? It's gonna turn into beautiful compost for next year. Just you wait, just you wait. Mark my words, today, October 29th, 2023, in April of 2024, we're gonna make a video of me using this giant pile of poop as soil for planting grass. You just watch. And then we're gonna have so much grass and Catherine's gonna be really happy because she loves animals on grass. My hope anyway. Cross your fingers, everybody. <laughs> but anyway, now that I'm down here and making noise, all the chickens have decided to come out. Not all of them, but. And I would go in there and show you them, but they're all wet and looking very sad. So anyway, I guess this video might be a little bit short, but I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. And uh, if there's anything you want to see in Friday's video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to make it happen because uh, it is disgusting today. But anyway, time for some lunch and some water. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.